everybody, Andrew McGuire here. It's just a really quick tutorial today about how to insert a blue sky using Photoshop. So what we need to do, first of all, I'm working out of Photoshop CS5, but I'm pretty sure that the premise is very, very similar in other Photoshop models. So first things first, you need to have a blue sky in a separate JPEG image. Now, I took this, uh, I don't know, a year ago. What I did was it was a bright, it was a bright blue sky, sunny day, and I decided just to take a, a 360 sh shot of the sky, you know, over about seven or eight photos. And so I've got a series of different blue skies with different cloud formations, different styles of blue sky. Um, and because I do a lot of interior photography, and when I upload the exteriors, if like today, you probably can't see, it's a really overcast grey day. When you expose properly for the house or the garden, as I'm going to do in a minute, um, you blow out the sky. So what you'll need to do is Photoshop in a blue sky, because when you send a bland photo to an estate agent, I'll send it straight back. They'll be like, no, nah, that's no good. So you need to have um, interesting skies if you're going to get into estate agent photography. So, so first of all, what do we do? Well, let's use this image that we're going to uh, this will work with the blue sky first. So on a Mac, you need to press Command and then A, and that selects the whole image. And once that's selected, we're going to then press Command C, which is copy. So then we're going to go over to our image, which is this one that I want to use. Now this one's going to be slightly tricky because as you can see in the sky, it's not completely um, level. There's a little bit of detail in the sky. So I'll show you how I go about doing that. So first of all, we're going to get the blue sky into our our image that we want uh, to put the blue sky in by pressing Command V. Now that's just basically copy and paste in. Now you can see it's added there, there in the bottom right hand corner as a layer. So what you then need to do is click that little eyeball and that will, that will hide it, that will mask it. And then you need to make sure you're selected you've selected the background, which is your original image. Now, next thing you need to do, on the top, you need to hit select, and then come down to color range. Now what you need to do, that should give you a little almost infrared or a black and white version of, of, uh, of your image. Now with this fuzziness shows you how much you can select. Because um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're going to get rid of some pixels, basically. So you need to tell Photoshop how many pixels or how many, uh, how, how much of the shot you want to get rid of, how much of the brightness you want to get rid of. So because, it, as I said, it's a little bit different, um, you can click in your image or you can click on the screen and try and find where it's um, most consistently white. So that, 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 seems to, that seems to work. Now what you'll see is also I've selected a few other areas that will show up as highlighted so we'll, and I'll show you how to deal with that in a second so let's click OK and then here we should see the marching ants right lovely so to, just to check that what we've selected we're gonna um, click the little eyeball and we're gonna hide the background mask so we can see exactly what we've selected now you know if you click keep clicking that you can see where your horizon line is you know what sky and what isn't so next thing I'm gonna do I am gonna go and click on in the top left hand corner my quick selection tool and again, I can choose the, the plus or the minus, and I'm going to go with the minus because these are things I want to get rid of. So I'm going to start over here and get rid of that little bit of um, this, it's selected things that are obviously exposed that I told it to, which I don't want. So we're going to get rid of that and just use the mouse just and just click over that. And get rid of anything that you, you think shouldn't be there. So... There's a lot of obviously detail on the grass that we're going to get rid of, crisp packet or whatever that is. So then we should be left with, if we hit the the, uh, the eyeball, we'll just get rid of our mask. We can see that we've just selected, oh, there's a little bit there on the right hand side. Now that should be fine. So then we'll just check it and that looks good. So then we'll, next thing we need to do is hit the, uh, make it visible, um, our layer. We're going to click on the layer, the actual, we're going to select the layer, and then at the bottom of the screen you'll see a few little options, and we're going to click this one that looks like a little camera, and we are then just going to hit that, we're going to add the layer mask, voila, look at that, straight in. Okay, now if you're not happy with that, with its um, location within your 
within your image, then keep your finger on Alt and use your, your mouse, you can zoom in and out of your picture. Now, what you need to do, you, make, you need to make sure this little keychain is, un, is not linked, so just make sure you check that, so that's gone away, and then click on your image, the one that we photoshopped in. So not the layer that we've just created, we want to use select the blue sky from the other image basically. So we'll select that, and then we're going to press Command T, now what that does, that gives us free reign to move that about. Now if you don't press that, let me show you what happens if you hit the link. If you hit, I'm just going to press the, uh, no, we're not happy with that. If I hit the link back there and I try and do it again, and then I try and move it, Command T, look what happens. It's just moving exactly the selection. So let's press cross, no we don't want that, we'll go back to normal. We'll, get, we'll make, need to make sure that we don't, we check that, the little link, get rid of that, and then Command T, and then we can literally move it how we want. So we can, we can resize it, and if you press Command, you can change the, uh, change the shape and, uh, of, of the rectangle of the square of your original image. So then you can, you can almost create a sky that you want. So that is how to add a blue sky into your image. Done. Easy. Simple as that. So thanks very much for watching this little mini tutorial. As always, give me a like or subscribe and look out for some more that will be coming later on. Okay. Cheers, guys. Thank you.